Hey guys, it is 4.30 in the morning and we are on our next adventure to Goa. We are starting early to avoid the madness of the city traffic. for a quick break a really clean place to refresh yourself we have ordered some milkshake it has saffron or kesar and some chocolate brownie another 150 kilometers. We'll be taking a different route this time since we're going to Arambol which is in the northernmost part of Goa and we'll be hitting Dharwar then taking a diversion at this place called Kittur followed by Kankumbi and then uh, Kovale Dargal Bridge is where we will take a diversion and hit Arambol. I hope this route is as amazing as the Yellapur road. ordered some rice and chicken kolapuri. I'll, I'll squeeze in some lime here. And let's try it. Mm. It's yummy. The gravy is really spicy. <laughs> our lunch and this is in uh, a place called Kalkere Cross. Hopefully this road is awesome as we have taken a detour from the main highway. The traffic look lean here and this is what we love doing right. Traveling through the interiors and uh, I believe Goa is about 100 kilometers from this place. <laughs> and the dry season has just hit. It's summer here in India already.
you can see the Kolwale fort. Never heard of this fort ever and uh, just found it in the middle of nowhere while on the way to Arambol which is about I guess 30 kilometers from here. There is also a beautiful church here right behind the truck. It's called St. Michael Chapel. all the weary that you have from the travel I am not sure if we are gonna shoot anymore for today because we are really tired and we will probably just relax but if there is something interesting I definitely will stay in Arambol. We woke up late and uh, now we are having our breakfast. We ordered an authentic Goa breakfast which consists of buns. These are hard ones and this is soft and sweet and this is the authentic Goan curry which is made of potatoes and mixed beans. So let's dig in. Soak it. beautiful backwater and the fishes are feeding so we can see a lot of actions there are a lot of birds here too right outside Fort Tirakol. This place opens only at 10 o'clock so we are waiting. Just finished visiting this fort. It has now been converted into a heritage hotel. It's quite small and there is a church inside which occupies most of this space. to go for a swim. We are now in Arambol, just relaxing. Rented these two lounge chairs next to the beach, which was pretty reasonable. Costed us around 200 rupees for the entire day. We plan to go for a swim before our lunch. How was the coffee? Awesome. I just bought this lovely lime green scarf and 200 rupees is a good bargain for a cotton. This is what we chase for sunset! This beach is just fabulous and there is not much of hustle bustle and really relaxing. Here, 
the beats got groovier. After dancing to our heart's content, we headed to a seaside restaurant with a live band playing rock and roll. And that's how we ended our stay in Arambol. Hope you guys liked the video. Do check in next Friday as we'll upload the next part of our Goa travel vlog. Finally, don't forget to smash the subscribe button.